You may be wondering what's going on with our Ender 5 here. Tipped over on its side, internals all kind of hanging out. Um, well, unfortunately, I blew up our TH3D Easy Board. Um, my fan shorted out and it blew a fuse on the Easy Board, so we gotta send this thing in. But in the meantime, we're gonna do a cool little project on it and uh, get it ready for something really special I got planned. Um, eventually, I wanna have this as an enclosed 3D printer. And one cool aspect that I really like about the 3D Fuse Kratos over there is how the electronics are mounted on the side. So we're gonna do a really cool side mounted electronics with this Ender 5, along with a custom DIY uh, electronics wiring harness, which I think you guys are really gonna like. My name is Alex, this is Modified 3D. Before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And as always, if you have any questions that come along, feel free to put them in the comments and I'll get to them when I can. We're gonna do some custom DIY wiring with this Ender 5. Before I get any further, let's continue pulling this Easy Board. So what I've already done is basically disconnected everything from the Easy Board itself. We're gonna go ahead and pull the Easy Board off and we're gonna take all these electronics off because everything is getting put to a side mount and we're gonna do some really cool stuff with this guys. So let's get into it. Fast forward a day later because the GoPro died and I completely didn't realize it. Uh, we got ourselves a stripped down Ender 5. Basically what I did is I took all the wiring that I'm gonna be changing or shortening, cleaning up, and got it out of there. Um, all I left up on the top of the hot end is the easy ABL wiring because that's not gonna need to go anywhere. Um, along with the wires on the front side of my harness module, which you will see is a new addition to the Ender 5. Um, this was a fix that I kind of did in between realizing that the fan stopped working and that the real cause of the fan working was not the connectors, but the board itself. Um, I didn't really like the connector setup that I had to begin with, so I kind of created this really cool, uh, unique solution, uh, designed a mount up for it, and it worked pretty well. Um, I got a couple prints off with it, um, with the broken layer fan, and uh, that's when I realized that the fuse blew on the TH3D Easy Board because my wires on the JST connection that was basically my quick disconnect for my layer fans well, one of the pins popped off and shorted itself. Uh, I was hoping that maybe it was just the fan motor that possibly broke, so I ordered a new fan, uh, put that in, and well, the new fan still wasn't working. So then I was like, well, maybe it's the connections. Uh, obviously, I had repinned it before then. So instead of using JST, I created this unique little mount which I'm gonna go full in depth in later on because we're gonna be redoing it and doing it a little bit nicer so don't worry you guys are gonna see how I did this and I'm gonna have links to everything below um, but once I realized that it wasn't the connectors and it was the board well that's where we are now so all I have left for wiring is obviously like I said the easy ABL sensor and then the front side which is my thermistor my heater cartridges and my fan uh, well, fans. And then I left on the bed uh, what is connected to the bed itself. Uh, that's gonna be your positive and negative for the heater as well as the thermistor wiring. That's gonna go to the MOSFET, which is gonna be mounted on the side. Um, I did leave the filament sensor, which is mounted in place, but the wiring is stripped off for that. All the wiring to the motors are completely taken off. And basically, I took the bottom plate that's gone as well. 
What I'm gonna eventually end up doing is making this Ender 5 a completely enclosed printer. My goal in the end is to be able to print ABS for some 3D printing side jobs that I do um, to offer another product option for that. Um, for now though, what I'm just gonna do is mount all my electronics really nicely on the side. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna order a custom piece of plexiglass, which I will cut to size and I'm gonna drill holes for all my different things I'm gonna mount here. Uh, mount it with standoffs and we're gonna do some custom wiring harnesses. We're gonna shorten some of the wires and we're just gonna make this thing like super clean, super unique. Um, these printers, both of my Ender 5 and the Ender 3 are very heavily modified printers. Um, so why not just make them even more unique and make it the ultimate Ender 5 that we can do. You can almost dub this the Pimp My Printer series. Actually, I think we might end up doing that. That's where we're at right now. Uh, to recap, I will bring it back when I have a more solid plan of what the side's gonna look like. And then I think we'll wrap this video up and bring it on to part two, which will be actually cutting the plexiglass, mounting the electronics, and uh, planning our wiring. So get back to you as soon as I have a better idea of what this side's gonna look like. All right, well, I'm no artist or professional anything. But here are my three drawings and let's go over them and see kind of what we got going on for that corner and where we're gonna mount everything. To start off, this is kind of my general overview and uh, I'll probably just end up taking a picture of this and posting it on the screen. But uh, anyways, we got our power supply unit right here. This is where our wall plug is gonna go into the adapter. Here's our master power switch. From there, we have our bed MOSFET up here, our TH3D main board, our TH3D easy ABL module, our TH3D Raspberry Pi power converter, the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. We have our buck converter, which is the 12 volt to, or, uh, sorry, 24 to 12 volt converter. I'm gonna do a little jumper distribution box here for clean wiring. And this is gonna be our switches and distribution area for LED on off and accessories on off, stuff like that in the future that we may wanna add. So that's gonna be what I think is gonna be my general mounting orientation. None of this shit is to scale, so it's all just guessing right now, um, but to move on to the wiring, I'm not gonna go super in depth on this. Uh, I just made a short little color coded um, wiring diagram here, but this is just for me to get a general idea of what my wiring is gonna look like on the inside. Um, and none of this has been double checked yet. This is all a rough draft, obviously. I'm gonna go through and fine tune it but this right here is gonna give me an idea of what my just general wiring looms are gonna look like so that um, I get a general rough idea of what this is gonna look like all connected because I don't wanna see like 10 wires coming down here so I can make a nice loom and um, they're all gonna basically come up and lead to the top of this corner. So like we have our USB input for the camera, it's gonna come down. Um, obviously our LED accessories will come up here, our, all of our stepper motors and the uh, hot end thermistor, heater cartridge from the board, all that will come up here as well. And all of our stuff from our bed MOSFET will come up. And basically I envision it all kind of coming out of this general region right here where I can then do some cable chains to support it back and forth this way. And then obviously we'll have cable chains going this way for the wiring that connects up here. And I'll have some sort of solution to hold that, uh, or sorry, support that 90 degree bend uh, adapter onto this. Um, and then for our bed, this should have no problem 
with it kind of coming along like that. Um, obviously as the bed drops we're not going to have to worry about any wiring slack so I think that'll look really clean having the bed wiring kind of come out along that line as well. Um, obviously we're still just kind of figuring this out as we go. Um, I don't know if this has been done before to be honest. I haven't even really looked. Um, I'm just kind of winging it. I'm not a professional. This is just a hobby of mine as you guys know. But that's as far as we can really get for now until I order the plexiglass, which will be tonight. And um, we'll get the plexiglass sheet ordered. The TH3D Easy Board is already en route to get fixed. Um, I have no idea how backlog they are. Um, I'm in no rush to really get this one up and running. So as soon as I get that back, I guess we can start slowly piecing this thing together but I'm gonna order the standoffs and hardware that I'm gonna need, as well as the plexiglass and probably the plexiglass cutter and a couple other fun things. But thank you for watching and I hope this generates a lot of interest in how to do a DIY enclosure on your Ender 5 or just to find a really cool way to pimp your printer out. So. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. As always, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and give a subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.